Just a couple of bangers. Just a couple of bangers. How good was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're uh, the coronavirus, it's happening, but we're still happening as well. So what's going down is we're going to show you some local things you can go eat when the food's all out of stock in the in the coals and the woolies. Boys, yeah. no more pasta, no more rice, don't worry. Oh God, sponsor me. We got you covered, all right? It's not really moving. A bit of an insect catching call. Oh, we got two. We got two moths, yum yum. <laughs> Can we have the free fly <laughs> Hey guys, we just caught ourselves with a here. Get a torch on that doggy, there's wildlife. We have moths in their natural environment. So Connecting. A couple of grubs, honestly. Get a room. take it inside, you dogs. <laughs> Get a room. Take it inside the jar. <laughs> Open the jar. When catching moths. I'll show you what you want to do. You want to just grab them with your hand. I you! <laughs> you! <laughs> Come here! That's how you don't catch a ball. Come here! <laughs> hey, we should redo it. Should we redo it? I got him. No, you're not. Put this one up. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're hopeless. <laughs> I've choked under pressure of the future. <laughs> That's how you catch a ball, right? Don't let like this guy do it. <laughs> so, when all else fails, you can always look in these trusty silver trays of food. <laughs> So the uh, cracking thing about moss, like most insects, full of protein. So if you're out, you're lost, you're hungry, or coronavirus is hit, moths and insects are the key to survival, yeah? Yeah. Only Remember facts. That. Only Remember facts that. are here. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh no. Just found this giant as spider. I found it. A great home for grubs, spiders, lizards, cockroaches, beetles, you never know. They're all, oh, as you can see, yeah. under the log. Lots of living animals. It's a cockroach. Right there. Can you grab him? <laughs> it's a grub, this is what it's after. I told you, under these ones are the good ones. So here we have a little beetle larvae. Perfect for eating. I'd nearly go for him raw, but I think we're going to cook him. Imagine not eating him raw. <laughs> what a pansy. Kind of like a buffet dinner, you know? Moths, cockroach, witching grub. Oh, here's another grub, boys. I told oh. you, I'm quite keen. These are the best things. These are absolute snacks. Here, hold him, Kyle, while I look for more. If you can see the termites, termites are actually a good source of food. Um, they're quite tangy, but see catching enough of those to eat. So we were reading some ideas, you can do um, moth skewers or moth loaf if you have enough but I think we'll just be going for the classic technique of frying them, a bit of salt on them, oh, they're basically like chips you know, so. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the plan is when we get home, um, these tasty fellas right here, uh, which look so delectable, first we need to freeze them, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say overnight, <laughs> and then for breakfast maybe get some bread as well, put them on spread. I'm now, so chuck these dudes in the freezer. Have them tomorrow. G'day, guys. We're back again this morning with some delicious breakfast. Oh, this is Bren's delectable snack. This is Kai's. This is mine. And yours. Don't get your one, mate. We'll fry them up in a bit of oil, add a bit of salt, maybe a lot of tomato sauce, and get into it. Alright, so in the oil they go. So the bugs are on the cook. They just got enlightened, my dude. Alright, I reckon we uh, get a bit of salt in there. Loki's kai scrub actually looks okay now. It's like burnt up. The cockroach doesn't even look that bad. The cockroach is just like... I'll swap the cockroach for the grub if you want. No. Why did so much fire come up? What was in those bugs? Oil. Real buddy. Oil. Oh. Alright, so now that the bugs are cooked, we're going to stick them on a paper towel to dry out and cool down before we eat them. That oil would still burn you, eh? It looks like it's clear on the inside now. 
Like, I that actually looks okay. I'd go. It does that. look okay. Eat I, was, I was, I didn't want to eat the, the squishy bit on the inside. Ooh, yummy. Yeah, no, but I think it's all cooked. A little bit of pink Himalayan salt to season them up, I reckon. My secret ingredient. Ah, close. Why does Justin do his name? Oh, he's There's some turmeric in here. Did it too to help him out? You can go I'm going for tomato sauce. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going for pure tomato sauce on the open on that plate. He's keen for some insects. He's awake, who? Oh, you. Alright, that bug tastes pretty good. Yeah, for, it goes to the live brand sack, mate. Man, I'll go first if you want. This thing looks delicious. Strange looking fellow, but, um. Strange looking? Ugly looking fella. Yeah, he's a bit cooked now. <laughs> this is the uh, witchy grub <laughs> from the insect catching cook. <laughs> looking delicious over here. That's my cook. It tastes good. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. He's struggling. It actually doesn't really taste like that bad. For real? How's it taste like? Hi, Clyde. So it's like pink. I'm not any flavour. It just tastes like tomato sauce. <laughs> Oh, Zach! I want to eat it! I'm Brendan, your turn! That was the funniest bit. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor isn't that bad, it's trying to swallow that damn burnt charcoal outside. <laughs> it tasted like burnt tomato sauce. Oh, what else we got on the platter? Which he got stuck in my teeth. Oh, that's yum. There you go, boys. <laughs> that's how I like it. Lots of flavor. <laughs> go, Brendan. What are you doing going with it? Yeah. This is actually alright, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try to swallow it? Oh, that's where it gets hard. Now, you know how they say it sort of tastes like eggs? Yeah. It tastes like burnt egg. Yum. So a big moth each. How is he? <laughs> Bit of tomato sauce for this guy. Cheers. Oh, it's wet in the middle. No, it's wet in the middle. I was throw up. That's like a salty liquid in the middle. <laughs> nah, the moth wasn't too bad, Brandon. That's your moth there, brother. Head, tomato sauce. <laughs> Down there. I feel like you guys gave me the biggest one. Yeah. Like by the spoon. No, go on. I would definitely eat insects again. If there was no other coals or leaves <laughs> open, <laughs> Macca's was shut, KFC was shut. I'm going vegan and just eating grass. <laughs> yeah, if I had a 10, what would you rate the insects? Oh, that's a good 10. <laughs> nah, it's a good 10. <laughs> yeah, about a 3. Yeah, look, the cockroach, I'd say I'd give it a good, good 4. As you can see, it's a fish. I'd give it 5. Good for. Yep. It's all right. The center, it's a bit, bit yucky. In <laughs> <laughs> the moth. The moth wasn't too bad. I don't know how the head would taste. I don't <laughs> want to sample that bit. But yeah, overall, good, solid two star meal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would give the grub on um, flavor a uh, five because it tasted okay. And on texture, about as one. As for the moth, couldn't really taste it. That wasn't too bad. Um, see us next time when we go and catch something better tasting. <laughs> uh, my Snapchat is quite awesome, I think. Defeated by Gecko. He's gone into his little home.